Nokia is back and now it's making Android phones. In fact, it made one of the most popular affordable Android phones in 2017, the Nokia 6, and now it has its successor, the new Nokia 6.1, or simply the new Nokia 6. Hello guys, my name is Vic Kristoff with Phone Arena and the Nokia 6.1 looks and feels a lot like its predecessor, but it's also more powerful and can record now 4K video. All of that sounds great for a phone that costs just $270, but are there any hidden pitfalls that you should look out for? First, in terms of looks, the new Nokia 6.1 has basically the same size and identical solid metal construction like the old Nokia 6. It has the same sharp edges, flat sides and a thin profile that make it look tough and practical, but when you look at the stylish glass and curved design of a phone like say the new Moto G6, the Nokia 6.1 looks a bit conservative and not quite as exciting in its styling. The new thing in the Nokia 6.1 is the color. It is a very memorable look with black coffee-like main theme and gold accents around the camera and the sides. Some of the people I asked found this black and gold theme good looking, while others thought it was a bit over the top gaudy. Make up your own mind. On the back of the phone you get a single camera unit that bulges out slightly, but enough for the phone to wiggle just a bit when you lay it flat on the table. On the back right below the camera is a round fingerprint scanner. It's a bit too small, so I had a few missed unlock attempts. Not a big issue, but worth pointing out. On the bottom you have the only loudspeaker and a USB-C port for charging. You also get a 3.5mm headphone jack located at the top of the phone, so you can easily use wired headphones. However, there is no special waterproofing on the Nokia 6.1, so you should be careful to keep it away from water. The Nokia 6.1 sports a 5.5 inch Full HD LCD screen and it's probably the most disappointing part of this phone. Now listen, it's a 16 by 9 screen with rather big bezels, but it is the bluish tint and the slightly washed out colors that stick like a sore thumb. Unlike other phones, there are no different screen modes to choose from here, so you're stuck with the default settings. You also get a noticeable motion blur when you scroll through the menus. We don't know whether this is due to a lower refresh rate or to some other issues, but it's one more screen annoyance that you have to deal with. There's a software, this is an Android One phone, which means that you get a clean, pure version of Android with no bloatware and with the promise for faster software updates in the future, which is, let's face it, a rarity amongst Android phones. Android One is a great thing to have, it runs surprisingly smoothly, reacting swiftly to your taps and gestures. The apps that you get are nearly all stock Google apps, with the notable addition of FM radio, nothing else and most importantly no bloatware. Good job Nokia! One of the most important upgrades in the Nokia 6.1 over last year's Nokia 6 comes in the processor department. The 6.1 runs on the newer and more powerful Snapdragon 630 chip, while last year's handset featured the Snapdragon 430 chip. The Snapdragon 630 keeps the phone running at a steady pace through apps and it gets good benchmark results for gamers on a budget. Of course this is no flagship phone, so tone down your expectations, but this phone still feels more powerful than many of its peers. You get 32 gigs of onboard storage with the Nokia 6.1 and some 18 gigabytes of them are actually available to the end user. This can be a bit on the low side, so we're glad that the 6.1 comes with the welcome option to expand the built-in storage via micro SD cards. In terms of networks, the phone is sold unlocked in the United States via Amazon and Best Buy and it supports all the necessary bands to work with GSM carriers like AT&T and T-Mobile in the United States, as well as with MVNO supporting a GSM network. This phone however is not compatible with Verizon Wireless or Sprint or any other CDMA networks. In terms of connectivity options, we should note that it supports NFC, so you can use it for mobile payments easily. Switching to the camera, the Nokia 6.1 features a single 16 megapixel camera on the back and an 8 megapixel wide angle front camera. To be honest, when we were taking photos with the phone, it felt very slow to focus and photos just did not look all that great on the phone screen. But when we downloaded the pictures and looked at them on a bigger screen, we were actually pleasantly surprised. The day photos turned out really nice, we were particularly impressed with the colors that look really well balanced, 
really pleasing with a slightly warm Nikon-like feel and a surprising amount of dynamics. Take a look at the pictures yourselves. The new Nokia 6 can also record 4K video now, an upgrade over last year's Nokia 6 that could only record up to 1080p. Now, 4K video comes with one big compromise. There is no proper stabilization, so recordings look very shaky. If you can keep still or use a tripod, the quality is good and you get plenty of detail, but that's rarely the case with a phone. That's why it might be a better idea to actually record in 1080p, which has less detail but looks more stable. You also have the option to record both videos, using the front and rear cameras simultaneously. It's a fun gimmick, but we struggle to see many people using this frequently. Still, you could try it. On the bottom of the phone is a single loudspeaker, and it is actually quite good. It gets fairly loud and provides a fairly clear and crisp sound that we enjoyed listening to. It's not quite on par with the amazing loudspeakers that we get in 2018 flagships, but it's good for a cheap phone. The built-in audio jack is one other convenience that will help you deal with all sorts of wired headphones without any adapters. While we have had some surprising issues with call quality on various, more expensive devices this year and last year, we did not notice any glaring issues with call quality on the Nokia 6.1, quite the opposite, everything was just fine. The phone comes with a 3000 mAh battery, the same size as on last year's Nokia 6, and on our proprietary battery test, the new Nokia actually scored slightly lower for battery life than last year's phone. We don't know why is that, but in real life, you get a solid one day without much trouble, but not much more. Last year, the Nokia 6 had one notable shortcoming. It did not support quick charging. With this new Nokia, you get both a fast charger in the box and support for those faster charging speeds, so it takes less than 2 hours to fully recharge the battery of the phone. Drawing the line, the new Nokia 6.1 sells as an unlocked phone for $270 on Amazon and Best Buy. This is clearly a budget phone, but this actually means that it has some very serious competition. If you are looking for a budget phone, we also recommend considering the new Moto G6 series, which has really premium looks and a clean and nice interface. Another phone that we recommend taking a closer look at is the Honor 7X, an even cheaper option with a good looking 6 inch display and minimal bezel. You can find links to these phones in the description to this video. So at the end of the day, the new Nokia 6.1 bring some welcome improvements over its predecessor. A faster processor, 4K video, fast charging, these are definitely things that make the new 6.1 a much better phone. It is the bluish display that is the biggest setback, as well as the questionable design, but if you're looking for a fast and affordable phone, we definitely recommend keeping this one on your list. And this rounds up our review of the new Nokia 6.1. Thanks for watching this, hit that like button if you enjoyed watching, subscribe to our channel for more videos and I will catch you in the next one.